A noisy neighbor, cars that go boom 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 in the middle of the night, or just a novel magic trick, the TV and stereo jammer is one of the most entertaining devices a person can have in their pocket. If you can hook up two simple components with four or five wires, or if you have a friend that can, you can have this amazing device running in no time at all. Okay, so here's all there is to it. You've got a battery pack that'll be six volts. You can even use uh, uh, lithium cells, a couple of real small ones, if you want to make a miniature version. You've got a little trimmer capacitor here, and you've got your FM transmitter chip. I've also got a little piece here of plastic, which I have drilled to hold the chips and the uh, capacitor. And ordinarily, you'll use perf board, but I just used a piece of clear plastic for the video, so you'll be able to see where every wire goes. All right, let's get to it. Here's our chip. You'll notice the chip has a notch right here. That tells you where the first pin of the chip is. And when you're counting your pins, if you're looking at the little schematic, that'll give you your clue. So there goes our chip, which is mounted on the perf board there. And the capacitor just goes like that. And then we'll connect our battery leads and our antenna and a couple of jumpers. And that's going to be it. Okay, so pin two and three are connected together. And then pins four and five are connected together with that also being connected to one lead of the capacitor. So I'll just put a little drop of solder on each of those. Smoke always adds to a production, they tell me. And of course we're soldering here on Plexi, <laughs> which isn't normal. Hopefully it's heat capable of handling the heat. But it's just for the camera, as I said, so that we can see. There we go. Beautiful job. So okay, now we have our jumper coming from pin one and our jumper coming from pin six uh, over to the other side of our little capacitor and also connecting here to the antenna lead, which is just going to be a length of about 50 inches of wire. And we'll flip it over and solder the other side. Okay, and we'll put a little dot of solder on each of those. Our antenna lead. And on each of those pins. This plexi is actually a pretty good perf board. All right, now this is a uh, six volt battery pack. It holds uh, four pen light AA cells. Uh, and it's got this really neat little switch right here so that you have an off on switch for your, your jammer. So I'm going to switch battery packs uh, from the one I showed you that shows you how the batteries are placed. Uh, to this one for our last hookup. If you can believe it, we're almost done. So here are our last two connections. Our positive power goes over to pin 14 and our negative power lead goes to pin 7. And a little drop of solder. And our circuit's ready for action. A little bit of silicon glue underneath or you can use Goop brand glue, which is my favorite glue. And, uh, and just glue it here to the battery pack. And then you've got a neat unit with an off-on switch that'll fit in your pocket, can go anywhere, uh, easy to adjust right there, and uh, you're ready to go. So your glue is dry, you're ready to test it out, set up an FM radio, we've got some nice music playing. Maybe your neighbors don't play such nice music. Well, if that's the case, I certainly wouldn't recommend doing anything that was illegal. But if you happen to have a jammer in hand, here is your jammer with the glue dry on it. You will turn it on with the switch at the top and then reach down with a small screwdriver, a plastic screwdriver or a television alignment tool works the best and tune very, very slowly. And you find a spot right there where that music goes away. Now the screwdriver here is acting as a bit of an antenna. So if I take it away, we might get some music or might not. It's doing a really good job of jamming from here. Your range is going to be about 30 to 50 feet. If you slightly detune it here, so that you're just very slightly out of tune, you can often jam with a finger just by getting a finger close to it. And that's a great magic trick. You can have this in your pocket, and when your hand gets near it, 
You can make the signal either fuzz or go away. This will work with either a television, which is connected to an antenna. It won't work with a satellite or cable, but if they have an antenna television, uh, then it'll create bands across the television and you can have great fun with that. Tell them they've got to act as an antenna and have them go put their hand on the TV. And every time you get them into a pretzel position, uh, you will uh, unjam the signal and you'll say, there, just hold it right there. <laughs> and I've had a lot of fun with that. If you use an antenna of one foot or less, uh, your device should be legal as a low power transmitter. However, if you were to put an antenna on there that was exactly 52 inches, you would probably jam signals all the way across the street. So I want to definitely recommend that you don't put a 52 inch antenna on it. There's also an equation if you have a certain frequency that you want to jam uh, that I'm going to include here in the text on screen. And you can use that equation to calculate an exact frequency to jam. Jam away, be good, have fun, and, uh, and don't use it anywhere I wouldn't use it.